that the aged men be sober, grave. Grave means serious. Because as a, uh, would you say black people are serious? Nah, the world don't see us as serious. Right. That's why they put us on BET and VH1 uh, tap dancing and acting a fool. Stop playing games, man. Like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, the, the bell button, do the comments. Let's go. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You're the light. And when, when people see you, they're supposed to see God's daughter. So by what you wear, by the way you act, you're showing the world who you are. That's why you need to wear a dress. Titus 2. Hey, what's up, big bro? What's your name? Denzel, what's your nationality? Uh, African-American. African-American. So what we're doing is we're showing that the so-called African-Americans are Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Facial, do you know what tribe you're from? No, what, what's your dad? Is he African-American? Is he Haitian? Is he from Belize? He's African-American. So you're also from the tribe of Judah. Right. Y'all feel me? We're God's chosen people, but they don't tell us this in a uh, church. You go to church? No? Which, do you believe in the Bible? Okay, word. Watch this. I'm, I'm, we're going over a few things. Titus chapter 2 and verse, start at verse 1. Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So just like you said, you want to you show your faith, you try to be a good example for your daughters and let the whole world know that we the Israelites, that's good. That's our job on earth. Right. Our job is to walk so that everybody look at you and they see Jesus Christ. Right. Because uh, prior to contrary belief, Jesus Christ is not no white man. Right. Jesus Christ is a black man that looks just like you. Right. Dark skinned and everything. Right. Jesus Christ look like you. Beautiful black skin. We, when, when the world sees us, they see God. That's why they're scared. That's Bring it out. Keep us at the bottom. Right. So we need to speak the things that are sound doctrine, that are good. Read. That the aged men be sober. So aged men, how old are you, uh, Denzel? 33? Oh, so you up there in age. You older than me. So as an aged man, you need to be sober. You smoke? Yeah, You smoke? You smoke weed? So God says you're not supposed to do that because you got to be sober. Basha, do you smoke weed? Okay, you're not supposed to smoke weed. That's the example you're supposed to set for your daughter is to be sober. If you sober, if you are, if you high, because bro, believe me, I used to smoke like eight blunts a day. I used to wake up, get high, go to work, be high, get off work, be high, go to bed, be high. Jeez. I couldn't do nothing without being high, but I was never productive. Right. I wasn't doing anything. So if you're not sober, you can't show forth that we are God's children. Right. You right. feel me, Denzel? You feel me, Veja? Okay, read. That the aged men be sober, grave. Grave means serious. Because as a, uh, would you say black people are serious? Nah, the world don't see us as serious. Right. That's why they put us on BET and VH1 uh, <laughs> tap dancing and acting a fool. Right. That's why you got people like, uh, give me some names. Gucci Man. Go ahead, go say some great names, Etan. Um. Uh, Glorilla. Glorilla. Sexy Red. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, Cardi B. Cardi, Bobby Shmurda. Bobby Shmurda up on the desk dancing and stuff. That's what they put. They use us for entertainment. Dancing right. like a monkey. Name a hey. They, they dance like a monkey. Name a serious black man. Okay, that's good. But what does he do for a living? Yeah. Acts. Which, but he's also a philanthropist. Right. But as an actor, what is he doing? The entertaining white folk. Right. I like Denzel Washington, don't get me wrong. Training Day, one of my favorite movies. But he's still an entertainer. Right. The world doesn't want to see a serious black man. That's why they killed all of our heroes. They killed Martin Luther King. Right. They killed Malcolm X. Right. They killed, uh, uh, what's, uh, uh, what's the brother from the Black Panthers? Fred Hampton. Fred Hampton, thank you. They kill all our leaders who are serious about elevating us to new heights. Right. And they leave the people there to tap dance and coon. Right, right. God said we need to be serious. Read. Temperate. Temperate, meaning you're not emotional. You're not quick to fly off the handle. You're not ready to crash out on somebody. You feel me, Denzel? Read. Sound in faith. Right. In charity, in patience, 
Asians. The aged woman, likewise. And the aged woman, so just like the black man, the Israelite man, the Judite man has to be serious, here's the stipulations for the aged woman. Read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Meaning, you need to keep the commandments. You need to get around brothers and sisters that keep the commandments to show you the way to walk. That way, you can show your daughters and show all the other young women. Bring it's just out. like we were saying. Who do black people have to look up to? You got somebody? Who do we look up to? Who should we look up to? Give me somebody. What about Glow Riddler? Should we look up to Glow Riddler? Hey. Oh. No, and honestly, like, I, when you ask that question, ideally, right now, there's no, there's nothing that really comes to mind. That's the problem. Like ten keys. Who? Ten keys. Ten. 10 keys is in Islam. Is Islam the black man's religion? Do around 2868. Islam is not the black man's religion. Right. Islam was taught to us in slavery. Right. Just like we was taught to taught white Jesus in slavery, our people were enslaved in Africa to follow Islam. Right. Islam doesn't teach us our nationality. It doesn't teach us what we need to do to be better fathers and better mothers to take care of our kids, to get us out of slavery. Bring it up. Islam is a slave religion. Ten keys, ten keys might do some positive things, but as a whole, he's still an entertainer. Right, right. He pushes like different schemes and stuff. He not telling the black man what he needs to do to get out of slavery. Right. Because do you, you are you about to catch the bus? Do you like catching the bus? No. <laughs> I hate that, I hate that. Right. I used to take the RT. I used to take the 21 to the 15L, take the 6. Make I it, hated that. Make it play it all. Bring it out. The white, the, the, the white man got to do that? Does the white man got to shop at Family Dollar? Dang. Why do we have to do that? Bring it out. Y'all have that question like, damn, why we live in the hood? How can, how can we live? Why we at the bottom? Why we going to slavery? Right. Do you know what yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, start at verse 15. Because we're going to show why we're in this predicament. Why we even know that we are the Israelites. Bring it out. That right. we're not black, we're not African American. we God's chosen people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Meaning, it is going to happen. This is Moses two, three, four thousand years ago talking to the Israelites. He said, it is going to happen. Go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen as a people, as a people, or do my people listen? Do we? No. No, we're hard-headed as hell. Right. And they gotta say, black people don't believe that meat is greasy. Right. Meaning no matter how much you tell them something, they don't believe it. Bring it out. Right. So we don't listen to God, we didn't listen to God, and here's what happened. To observe, to do all his commandments. We don't do his commandments. As a community, we don't do like simple thing like uh, cross-dressing. Not all black, most of the black women I know wear pants. Right. But they're supposed to wear dresses. Right. right. That's the attire, something simple like that. Like, do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? I don't eat meat at all. Okay, that's fine. But a lot of black people, we eat pork. You eat shrimp? Okay. Dietary things, drugs, happens to you. Are you married? You got a girlfriend? Okay. A lot of us, we have sex all around the world. Right. We leave babies everywhere. That's what we as a community do. Bring it. And because we do these things, this is what happens. Bring it out. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Like, just now, I saw that. This dude walking up, you scared, right? Well, I was just alert. Keep it a band. Cause I would be scared if some random dude was walking up. I'd be, I'd be like, oh shit. Bring it out. Um, that don't happen in white neighborhoods. Bring it out. White people ain't gotta feel a sense of dread when somebody's around when they in their neighborhood. Right, right. That only happens to us. Right. That's a curse. IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children. 
the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks, compelling our people to come back to their heritage. Tune in to IUIC TV. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.